Hello, I want to show you how to take a simple wheel and add a little rim lip on the inside and outside. And it's taken me a couple of times to get this, so I'm going to delete a couple of things and we're going to start from the beginning. Okay, I'm going to use the XY plane to define my rims. So we're going to start a new sketch on the XY plane. And when it does this, it rotates the wheel and it's starting a sketch inside the wheel. The problem is you can't see it. So we're going to switch to view and slice graphics. And now we can see through the rim. Switching back to the sketch tools. First thing I want to do is I'm going to use the mirror tool in planning in advance for that. I'm going to add a rectangle here that is a construction line that needs to be attached to that same dimension there on the cake. So I'm going to add a center line just for reference. So it's going to be from the middle of my rectangle up through where I plan to be drawing. And that needs to be not a construction line. So I'm going to right click on that and make it not construction. All right. Zooming in right here on this corner, I want to add a rim and I want to slant it out a little bit from this point. And I'm going to make it kind of exaggerated so it's easier to see. I'm still in construction line, hang on. Let's get control C. Turn construction line off lines, starting from this bottom. I'm going to come out, uh, that's probably good. And I want to make sure this is horizontal. Maybe not that long. Something like this. I believe on your wheel models it goes straight up and down and the inside is uh, sloped a little bit. I'm going to escape that. I'm going to use the mirror tool and I'm going to pick these three lines that I just made. And I'm going to use this mirror line to make that on the other side. So that's why I went through the trouble of adding that center line. Now I need to connect everything together. So I'm going to add a line from here to here and from here to here. And the reason I'm doing this is I've done this a couple of times already and I've had a lot of trouble getting everything to connect properly. So that should get it. Okay. Uh, another thing I'm going to do to make my life a little easier is go in and trim this line out. I don't need it anymore. And make sure there's nothing here. So it looks like I have a nice closed sketch. And then I finish sketch and then I look and I will go, oh no, I forgot to do one thing. So I'm going to edit this sketch again. One thing that I have to have is a center line that is on the origin. This is why I use the origin for the center of my wheel. So placing these kinds of lines are very simple. Now I'm ready to revolve. So I choose the revolve tool, choose my profile up here, choose my axis right here. And voila, I have a rim around the outside of my tire. So, gaze in wonder and glory.